Are you a software development team looking to streamline your development processes and deliver high quality software faster? Look no further than Azure DevOps. In this video, we will explore the different modules of Azure DevOps and how they can help you with everything from project management and version control to continuous, in continuous integration and development. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps is a comprehensive set of tools designed to help teams of all sizes plan, build, and deliver software faster and with higher quality. At the heart of the Azure DevOps is the dashboard, which provides a unified view of your team's progress across all phases of the software development lifecycle. If you see, you can see all the work assigned to Ramakandadichi. You can always configure it as per your usage. You can see all the builds and various documentation in your wiki. So this is where you find a complete dashboard which will give you an overall idea of your project. The next is the boards. The boards module helps you plan and track your work whether you are using Scrum, Kanban or a custom process. You can create and prioritize user stories, bugs, and tasks and assign them to team members. If you take a look, it will give you all the swim lanes that you can predefine or are already there in your Azure DevOps process. You can always customize this. You can go to your various team boards just from this drop down. You can see there is an issue. Uh, there is an issue that is assigned to Ramakanda Dichi and it is in to-do state, it can always be moved into different various stages. This is a backlogs and this is where you define your sprints. If you go to this drop down, you see we are in currently sprint one. Your project manager will be someone or your uh, DevOps manager will be someone who will be driving your sprints. You have queries you can query all your work items maybe you can see what's assigned to you or you can look at all the open items so there are various clauses that you can use for your queries this is the analytics views this will be important for you to know what's going on with your work items you can create your own view and so on. The next is the repo module. The, the repos modules provides a Git repository. It can also be TFVC for your source code, along with tools for code reviews, pull requests and branch management. You can also integrate with other Git providers such as GitHub or Bitbucket. If you see, you can always deep dive and check what are the last commits, the pushes, all the branches and tags. You can see all the pushes that we have in this main branch. You can see all your branches. You can see the tags if you have any. And this is where you check your pull requests. You can see what was created by you, what is active, what have been completed, or the abundant pull requests. The pipelines module enables you to automate your build and development process with support of a wide range of languages and platforms. You can define your build and release pipelines as code using YAML and take advantage of built-in templates and extension. You can also have the classic build and uh, deployment pipelines, but that is something that uh, might get deprecated. If you see, I have disabled it in my project, so I can no more create classic build and release pipelines. We have the libraries we, where you can have variable groups. So all the 
uh, secrets that you want to store can be stored in your variable groups. It can be linked to Azure Key Vault. The Artifacts module provides a central location for your packages and dependencies such as NuGet packages, NPM packages or Docker images. You can easily manage access to your packages and take advantage of built-in package management features like versioning and caching. So you can connect to a feed and I'll show you how to do it. These are the feed settings. This is how you control who can create feeds. And if you want to search upstream sources, you can do that as well. Package name must be exact match of how it exists. For example, if I want to search pandas, you can see it is able to search that. And if I want to install pip, you go to the feed and you get the tools. It will tell you how you can use it. That's artifacts for you. The next is test plans. The test plans module helps you plan, execute and track your testing efforts with support for manual and automated tests. You can also integrate with popular testing frameworks, frameworks like Selenium or APM. So all in all, we saw how powerful tool Azure DevOps is. It's a very good tool for modern software development processes. Whether you're building a small app or a large enterprise system, Azure DevOps can help you deliver better software and that too in a very quick way. Thank you for watching and keep supporting.